So if you haven't already, make sure you go grab a copy of today's homework. I'm going to uh, work a couple off of there. Actually, I'm going to work one, then you're going to work two. If you paid attention to the vocab, I've actually already worked some of these, so, uh, you know, it might be a little bit easier, so hopefully you were tuning in for that. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, area of a parallelogram, base times height. Something that's important to remember is that the height is always a perpendicular, notice 90 degrees, to the base. So this 19 looks like it might be the height, but it's not. It's actually a slant, so it's just one of the sides. 18, however, is the height because it's on a 90 degree, that's a perpendicular to the base. So, again, area of a parallelogram is base times height. And again, we're going to use this base, and this is the height because they're at a 90 degree to each other. So area is 28 times 18. So area is 504. And again, the label's squared, so feet squared, because it's an area. Okay, so now go ahead and pause this, go into class kick. I have a couple for you to work, uh, and then you can complete the worksheet after that. Don't forget to come back here to check your answer. So again, on here, base and height, and the base is just this part, and this 9, millimeter, nine meters rather, uh, is the perpendicular to the base. It could just as well be drawn inside of here. It would be 90 degrees, you'd say 9 meters, same thing. So again, area is base times height. So area is 13 times 9. So that is 117, and that's meters squared. Another one for you in here, just go ahead and uh, check it after you're done. Alrighty, so area of a circle is pi r squared. Radius is halfway across. What I've actually given you here is the diameter all the way across. So we're concerned with the radius halfway across, which is 30. I don't know what I was going to write, 60 again, which is 30. So 30 is halfway across. Ignore that mark there. So area of a circle then in this case is pi, and that's times 30 squared. Now if you recall in the video I talked about leaving in terms of pi. So what that would look like if I said area equals now 30 times 30, because it's 30 squared, that's 900 pi, and you could label it centimeters squared. Pi is a number, so if I say don't leave in terms of pi, kind of like this answer, you'll multiply 3.14 times that, so 900 times 3.14, and that's how you're going to get 2826 centimeters squared. But again, if you go through that pi stage, uh, and if I happen to say leave in terms of pi and you forget it or you didn't catch it, you would have the right answer kind of hidden in your work. And I would accept it in that case. So it's not a bad habit to get into. Okay, so uh, you go and finish up this worksheet. Again, stuff you did last year. Uh, there's 12 totally. You've probably done half of them by the time you got done with the vocab um, and this. So.